Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. We have made a video before of showing you how to download and install BitComet and technically this could have been also possible that you had BitComet installed on your computer by accidental or from someone else or just you don't really know, it just got there. Regardless, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall this program. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty simple. We do see the program. Technically, it does like to stay open. So if it is open, go ahead and open, search pretty much the hidden icons there. And you can right click on it and be sure that is exit out. It will also be possible underneath the task manager. So if it is there, just look for the program. If you do see it selected and just end the task on it, it might look actually like this. You'll have to press more details and find it too. Just look it up. Regardless, bit comment is pretty much disabled right now. It's not running. So I'm pretty much going to go to start. And then from there, you can choose settings. And then from there, you will choose apps. Once everything comes up, let the program load up. And by default, pretty much on the top, because it's pretty much a big comment right there, you'll see the program. And all you pretty much have to press is uninstall. This will pretty much ask you if this app is related and will be uninstalled. Go ahead and select it. And you'll probably be prompted. I'm going to go ahead and press no real quick. This does happen sometimes. This program likes to be installed by on here and you cannot find the location so in case if it's not there i'm actually going to just right click underneath the bit comment location i'm going to select properties and i'm going to press open file locations and to me it's pretty much showing this underneath c drive underneath programs underneath bit comments so pretty much you can just go to program files and there's bit comment you can pretty much just delete that that'll pretty much do the same work for you now technically if you have a windows 32 bit that i really doubt you possibly still do it might be underneath here too just look for it and that's pretty much in case you can't find the location. Regardless, the program is still there. Uh, we saw it here in these regular settings. Another option, if you don't see it there, you can probably go to the start menu. And you can pretty much just type in control panel. When you get to control panel, you might have this old layout or you might have this newer layout. Regardless, all you're looking for is where it says programs. Pretty much here's the programs and features from here. The new one pretty much shows the category one by default. All you have to select the uninstall program. And once it comes up, you'll look for the program. Pretty much there's big comments. You'll press uninstall. And you'll pretty much be prompted the same way by asking if you want to uninstall. I'm going to go to press no. And let's go ahead and go to the newer system that we see today. So here we are, big comment. I'm going to press uninstall. Go to press uninstall again. It asks if you want to be prompted. I'm going to press yes. And here's pretty much the sign. This, it's, you're going to question this. It's telling it's an installer language. We're actually going to open up the installer. Is pretty much also an uninstaller. And it tells us next. And it's, it's funny because it's an installer to uninstall. Welcome to Big Comment 1.8. This could change over time. Ask us to uninstall. Press next. Tells us the location where it's going to be uninstalled. Press uninstall. It's going to delete the files that are unnecessary. And press finish. And it's going to take us to your site. It's going to tell you why. If you want to give a report, there's site that you want to load. So it's hilarious. Um, so pretty much the program got uninstalled and we do not see it anymore. You might need to restart your computer. It does happen sometimes that the start menu icons are still there. You might just need to restart the computer and it could just appear after. If not, if it's just a shortcut that has a faulty error. Just pretty much just right click it and just delete it. It's not the end of the world for you. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.